Hey, when Elemental brought out beta version 3.21, they told us that they'd improve the speed and performance of our websites. And I did a video that said, hey, yeah, it looks like they've done that. And now that 3.21 is out officially, I just want to show you, does that still stack up? And what would happen if I was to test the exact same page with version 3.10? I'm going to show you that. And before you start accusing me of just testing out a blank page, here's the page we are testing. We've got hero, banner, image, we've got text, we've got buttons, text buttons, text buttons. We've got a carousel going on over here. we got icons and we got more. Now, I know that's not a fully flooded out page and I haven't got loads of other features on, but I think you could say that's a pretty standard page or landing page for many websites. So let's start reviewing the scores. Now, the images were WebP, but I did not custom load any files. There was no other performance caching plugin, no fast press, WP fastest cache, light speed, perf matters, WP rocket. There was none of that. All I had enabled was WebP images and obviously, you know, like some of the features in the elemental settings. Why wouldn't you go and activate that? Also, I did not lazy load any images and there's no code snippets either. So that website with elemental free and pro version 3.10. It was either 3.10.1, but it was 3.10, okay? The desktop score was 94. Now, you're going to look at that and go, well, hey, that's pretty damn good. Let me tell you now, it's not that difficult to get a score over 90 on a standard desktop. And if you're using GT metrics, you're probably hitting 99 or 100 anyway. It doesn't mean anything. We're not overly impressed. But even with 3.10 on a basic standard homepage, it was hitting 94%. But when you get to the mobile, the score went to 69. Now, back in those days and prior to 3.21 and a little bit prior to that, when you installed Elemental Free and Pro on a website and all you did was drop in a header, from that moment, your score might have been 75% and you had to stick in quite a few snippets and other bits and pieces. Go and watch my page speed performance 2024 video. But the score now, with this standard page on Elemental version 3.10 for free and pro was 69% for the mobile. And some of you are going to go, yeah, even though it's not an overly busy page, that's kind of what a lot of you are seeing. Well, now we take that exact same page and now we're using the live version of Elemental free and pro version 3.21. That website now for the desktop hit 100. Now, like I just said, the previous one was 94. This one is now 100 and it was a standard website. But what happens when you go to the mobile? The mobile score was 95. We went from 69 to 95. Now, 95 is not 100. Yeah, I know, but I haven't custom loaded any fonts. I haven't got any light, light speed or any other caching system on here. This is really, really basic. This is just Elemental Free, Elemental Pro. No code snippets, nothing like that. Now, if you imagine custom loading your fonts as well, if you imagine you go and stick in maybe a few code snippets, maybe you are still going to stick in a performance plugin and there's loads of free ones that you could use. We'll to optimize fast press. Sometimes just using a fastest cache and using like code snippets will do the job. But from the get go, for you to now be hitting 95. Now, I do want to give a word of warning. This has not got WooCommerce. There is a good chance that the minute you add that in, you're going to have more JavaScript and things loading in the background. And that's where I definitely would say start thinking about a performance plugin. Maybe, hey, I might have to go and test that out. But standard pages, 95, after you've added in some stuff and you've built it, that is pretty damn flipping good. I'm Imran Web Squadron. This is testing out the page speed performance on Elemental 3.10 versus 3.21. I'll see you soon. Bye.